Are you sick of not hitting the numbers you're supposed to hit, making the money you want to make? Door to Door is a professional collaboration to up level and bring honor and dignity to direct sales. What's up guys, wanted to give a little piece of advice for all you new guys coming in. I know it's day one, I know things are probably like all shell shocked, don't worry, you've got this unknown optimism. You guys are going to get your butt kicked, it's going to be hard. But those that fight through it, those that are willing to be committed to success, committed to grinding, and committed to fighting through some of that learning curve, it promises one of the best vehicles you could ever have. Any words, Greg? Man, keep struggling, guys. Keep fighting the good fight, and you'll pay off in the end. So today we're going to focus on a lot of different things. But the main focus is how to become better closers, how to become better reps, how to become better knockers, how to overcome the stupid objections we get, right? We make a decision in, in, in a blink of an eye on a lot of things, right? We have to make these judgment calls. And what's crazy is like, you know, the military snipers, it's like whether they pull the trigger or not, it does it, it can mean life or death, right? And so it's training these initial responses. And what happens is when they open that door, in a blink of an eye, they're making some calls and judgments. We're making some calls and judgments. And it's the ability to react and make those right judgment calls on how you approach it. Do I make a joke? Do I make more of a, a bold statement? Do I, am I calm? Am I, am I happy? Am I back off? Do I move in? Like all those things have to do with based on who opens and how they open that door, right? But 80% of this job is mental and 20% is what you're actually saying. So, so it's like what you say. Um, we're gonna do four documents in this video. So cut this into four different videos. The first document, title this one. Uh, area Manager Worksheet. Area Manager Worksheet. So I hold, let me hold these for you. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna just chop just this up. One at a time. Yeah, we're gonna do one at a time. There's a line for you to put your name down as the field inspector, a line to put down who the supervisor was that looked at this roof with you and saw the damage and approved filing a claim. We, we live life just going. <laughs> And, and I catch myself, like, we just wake up, we go to work, we do our thing, we have our kids, we have a family, and we go home, we do it over and over and over again, but we never take a second to actually stop and ask ourselves why. So, it's crazy, there's been a lot that's birthed from in my own life's journey by really, really finding presence around why. You know what I mean? It's like, man, I'm doing this, but why? I'm out here knocking, but why? <clears throat> why these conferences are powerful is that the intention of the speakers and the people presenting is the ability to get under your skin and relate something so that it sparks emotion that creates an action, right? So emotion creates motion, right? So, if we had to put a framework behind this story, so let's talk about a story, okay? Every story has a what? A character, right? I have a story. Give me a story without a character. <laughs> it's like, so whoever the character is, okay? So you want to make this character interesting, okay? Give me a story. Did I spell interesting? Yes. Okay. So, every story has an interesting character. Now, tell me any story. How's it go? Once upon a time, so it starts once upon a time. <laughs> exactly, once upon a time. Then what? There was a... There's a problem. A problem, right? So he has his outcome. First off, he's got his journey, okay? And then he... It's a wall, which we'll call, then there was something, right? So every story has a wall, and then what? <clears throat> Dude, it's trying to figure out a solution. It's what the people call them because you're not a solution. So they have a breakthrough, <coughs> and they hit their outcome. And they lived happily ever after, right? It's kind of every story, happily ever after. You gotta figure out what your objectives are. Jump if you don't know what your objectives are, like that's step one, we're having issues there. We need to write down, what is your objective? Why are you here? 
and how can we help each other do that? So, we're going to talk about three stories that I want to tell every day. Nelson just wants to I need to tell stories to everybody, or three, these three people, every single day, because guess who needs emotion? Myself? Right? I need to tell a story, because here's the thing, if emotion creates motion, what happens a lot of times as a salesperson? Think about it. We don't move. We need, ah, oh, you found it. Give me one second. Let me finish this up. Okay, so what happens a lot of times as a salesperson? We fail to move and take action. We, we just sit. We, we hit our goals. We made enough this month. Might as well just kind of host the rest of the month, right? Has, any, has anybody fallen victim to that? Because I sure have. Yeah. Right? There's been weeks where I'm like, that's it. I'm just going to hang out this week. Like, definite weeks of that. What gets us back on the pony? When you see, usually you see somebody doing more, so you're like, well, I'm not going to be the only one. So we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about this, because this, this, this has a lot to do with what creates our, our own internal emotion so that we can actually produce more. Because remember, I was like, I want to talk about this 80% mental. We have our own emotions. That emotion creates motion. Well, guess what? I got my face kicked in and this dude pissed me off and he pulled a gun on me. What emotions happening inside? I'm like, F this, my life sucks, I wish, and what do I do? What motion did that create? I'm out of here. Life sucks, I'm out of here. I actually just did a podcast with Nana. Anyway. Um, second thing that I want to tell a story to, the client. Okay? And, this, and the third person I want to tell a story to. Every day. Should I shut this? I guess I can do that. It'll get super hot in here. Okay. Yeah. Well, we know. It's because you're in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so, so the third person I want to tell a story to myself every day because I want motion. The person. Family. I want motion. You're on the right track. We can embody. So family is part of this. Boss. We're going to call this my environment. <laughs> my environment. And that could include, and I have to encompass this, because some people aren't married, right? Some people are uh, a team lead or a supervisor or whatever. So I want to create my team. I want to tell a story to my team, my family, my friends, my coworkers. Why do I say that? <clears throat> you said something earlier. What motivates you? You said I want to win, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, that guy's crushing it. Right. Yeah, what story is the guy crushing it telling? Yeah. Yeah. Doing better. Yeah. So there's this one day I woke up and I had this other guy on this team. He said he was gonna like freaking sell twice as many as me, and then I freaking. I was like, no, you are, and then I forget. <laughs> you know, I could tell the same story. And all of a sudden it was raining, and I had two options. I could either go home, but I knew that other guy was out there, and he told me he was going to sell twice as many of me, and I was like, no, you aren't. So I stuck it out. Right, true. And I freaking dominated it. <laughs> Pow! Story. I told. So I tell you, let's say we're sitting down, and you're like, honestly, I, I have another roofer. I don't know if I really want to like go to somebody else. Like obviously, I want to use my guy. I'm telling you that, right? Okay. No, no, no. I'm the customer. You're the salesperson. <laughs> and now, what I want you to do is use this story, this framework, the interesting character, the journey, his wall, his breakthrough, and happily ever after. And now we shake hands and do business. So use that same framework. You can make it up. You can okay. Just create one. <laughs> Hey, I definitely understand that. I was dealing with actually one of my clients, um, Susie. Their daughter is actually their insurance adjuster who comes out, looks at their oh, property and everything. So they're pretty close to their roof or I guess the next person in line for wanting to handle their problem, right? Well, they interested me. I was able to get the claim done. They couldn't really figure out why they kept getting turned down. 
So once I explain to them, well, their payment is put on pause until Harvard the insurance works. Yeah. Then, you know, they were able to actually get their roof replaced. We have them booked three months out. And again, like I said, their daughter is the one who handles all of that for them. So if you'll let me go ahead and get you taken care of. Okay. Okay, good job. Give her a round of applause. Awesome hair, by the way. Thank you. Feedback. Of course, some things she did well. What did she do well? Stay up. What? Stay up, B. Stay up, B. She what? If you let if me. If you, okay. If you let me, like, you know, like she's there. She, she's helping you. Okay, what else? She validated your concern in the beginning. She validated, like, oh, I get it. It was okay. What could she do better? I liked it. It was okay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like, huh? Talk slower. I think you could have taken me more time. Like it wasn't a race. Like it could have been a, like, figure out like how do I make this story relevant? Connect, right? How do I connect these dots? And you know, obviously, there's not enough backstory with my role play that you maybe don't have enough. But figure out how you can really create a connection between my situation and the doppelganger. Right? If you like what you saw, there's plenty of more where that came from. Join the tribe and hit the button below. Subscribe today.